Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Miniart. It is molded in 135 scale and it copy is quite unusual vehicle, as you can see that's another two Reto S tank let's say and this is a SLA heavy APC 54 it was announced on recent um, Spielwaren Messe exhibition and now we have a commercial sample so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review and also this is an interior kit which is quite surprising because I mean here it will be visible what you have inside this tank so it's definitely an advantage for this model and we will take a look how it will be built so, box size is more or less standard for this brand, here you can see comparison with my hand, we have quite nice box art, then on the side we have some safety information written in three languages and also address of the manufacturer, and if we flip it over here we have two marking options which are included here, but I hope there will be more, actually this is not a two marking options, this is one marking option but it has like profiles from top, from front, and from rear etc etc so this is a top opening box and here is what we have inside so as far as you can see all frames are packed into the same plastic bag and this is not cool because I mean you can see that packaging is quite tight and that's why it's better to be careful and if you have a chance to check everything before purchase do it in order to see if something broken off or something damaged and then to avoid getting such um, damaged kit. So now I'm going to open it with scissors, so just give me a second. And as usual, Miniart seals plastic bags. And I really hope that we will see more spacious boxing from Miniart, because it's not cool to have all screws just packed tightly in one box. I mean, the chances are really thin, I would say, that you will get everything intact. Okay, so in the plastic bag we also have another plastic bag. This one is dedicated to various uh, as far as you can see suspension parts and also tracks and some of the interior elements. We will check it a bit later. First of all I would like to start with this small envelope. So let's open it. Here we have quite big well, relatively big P fret. Let's zoom in. So this is unpainted P fret, and as you can see, it will be used for internal and external detailing. Here you will find minor uh, P parts, which will be a bit tricky to apply if you don't have a special tools. But if you do, it should be quite a quick process, and I mean, you will be surprised with final result. Next, we start. Oh, this is quite surprising. We have. Clear sprue, it was packed together with all grey plastic sprues, so um, I'm quite surprised that it's not scratched or damaged, but here we have periscopes and various lenses for this tank, molding quality looks fine, and the only thing you need is mask sheet, because I mean, you know, these tiny areas might be a bit tricky to cover, but maybe you can cover them with a mask hole. Next we start with first grey plastic sprue, so here you can find... Just give me a second, let's zoom out, here you can find parts for the lower house section, so as you can see these are side panels, we also have some interior parts, here we have the tarp, and everything looks nice, I mean this is a kit which is based on T54 from Miniard, so that's why it, some parts might be familiar to you, and as you remember this was quite a nice kit, in 135 scale it looks great in the finished state, so there is no surprise that we get such nice parts here as well. Here we have interconnection between two sprues, so I'm going to show them a bit closer just like this, one by one. Here you can see interior ports, they will go inside the tank, and here on this frame you can see how panels, which will be installed from outside, and also be careful or be worried about these thin parts, they might be easy to break off and then it will be really difficult to fix them. Or maybe you can completely replace them with metal wire if you have the necessary thickness of the wire. Next we have another interconnection between sprues, so here you can see again some of the hull parts, also we have drivetrain parts and this thin ring for the turret, and here are more of the parts for the fighting compartment, as you can see, again a lot of thin parts, a lot of attachment points, so be ready for all this stuff, it won't be a really weakened build, 
this is more of the, I would say, quite swole and thought full build so do not hurry while assembling all this stuff I mean just take a look how many small parts we have here it is definitely not a choice for beginner I mean unless you want to really try um, or start with something completely challenging then it might be a good choice for you um, next we have also some of the turret parts obviously they won't be used here we also have here some of the external storage boxes and hatches and also fuel lines here main barrel which won't be used as well so mainly this sprue is included because of the minor parts next we have new sprue which provides these special armor panels for the new turret as you remember the new turret is smaller well significantly smaller than what we have on the original tank and if you flip it over here you can see everything from inside obviously it is detailed from inside as well because it will be visible so don't be lazy and try to paint all the sides of this section next we have some parts for the fighting compartment as you can see we have here arm around also we have some storage boxes and that's really cool that we have it all out of the box you don't have to resort to some resin kits next we have here a sprue which was obviously dedicated to the turret I guess it was placed here in the middle so it was cut off nevertheless we have some of the hull panels here and they will be definitely used because I mean even though there is no turret still you have to install some of the hull panels on your tank next we go on with small plastic sprue this one is dedicated to the machine gun let's zoom in a bit so now you should be able to see it and of course some others will replace these barrels with metal parts I mean if you have a chance to do so it is better to do because um, you will get better detailing and obviously if you are eager to spend some extra money this might be a decent upgrade option next we go on with more armor panels this will be placed inside I guess we will have to consult with assembly manual another one here we have more of the interior parts various seats and as you can see the driver's seat will be built out of separate parts another sprue comes with various minor elements for the or minor equipment for the interior so mini art is quite famous for their interior kits and there is no surprise that we have a lot of parts for the interior and you will have to work with them so be ready for this next we have three sprues of the same type here is another one so as you can see these are mainly suspension parts and also some of the uh, main hull parts and again a lot of thin elements Again, you have to be careful with them because otherwise you end up with broken parts and it is really easy to break them off. So I would recommend to use plastic saw in order to um, get some chances, let's say. Next I'm trying to disconnect two sprues. So here we have two sprues with machine guns. As you can see, these ones are quite nice barrels. They're molded separately, so it's just a matter of careful painting. I think for out-of-the-box build it should be more than enough. If you would like to have something more, then definitely go for some aftermarket option. Next we have more of the interior ports. Here we have some of the exterior for the towing cable elements. And again we start with huge amount of small plastic frames I mean this is a traditional feature let's say of the mini art kits so don't be surprised with this for example here we have frames with road wheel parts there are two of them as far as you can see next we go on with small sprue for the um, jerry can then we have another sprue we saw this one so there is no surprise in this one okay let's move jerry cans aside we go on with interior parts, so here you can see four panel and also various thin parts which will be installed inside the tank. We also have here quite nice texture pre-molded and here you can check these parts from the opposite side. Next we continue with few tank parts. As you remember these are barrels which will be placed on the rear side. We have also fuel lines replicated out of the box so you won't have to, let's say, um, try to scratch build it with your own tools everything comes out of the box 
Okay, just give me a second. Here we have more of the turret parts. These ones won't be used. Maybe this hull part will be used only, but these elements are not handy here because, as you remember, this tank does not have the turret. Next, we continue with another thin plastic sprue. This one is full of really tender plastic parts. And I think it will be quite fun to work with this. So be ready for such experience. Next we go on with some panels for the storage boxes. So each storage box should be assembled out of several parts. Next we have some Pioneer tools here. And I guess they will be enhanced with P parts. Maybe some clamps will be replicated with P parts, who knows. Next we have slightly bigger plastic sprue which is dedicated to the hull panels. So let's zoom out a bit. Now you should be able to see it. So here it is. Um, the lower hull panel is molded as a single piece part but you place the side panels here. Also we have here quite nice welding seams. Note that the escape hatch is molded separately. And if you flip it over of course we have something inside because this is an interior kit. So it would be strange to have an empty hull in the lower section. Next we get two identical, actually four identical plastic frames with various minor elements. These are handles and uh, some of the lower hull ports. This one is an engine sprue, so as you can see whole engine should be built out of several parts. It should be quite a detailed power plant, so I would recommend to spend some time weathering and painting it. And maybe thinking how to expose it, because it would be a shame to hide it inside the tank. Here you can see parts from the opposite side. Okay. One more plastic sprue. Here we have various hull parts. And these are mainly interior panels. As you can see, they are molded as one piece elements as well. So it should be easy to work with them and, of course, to install them together. Okay, next we have something different. So just give me a second. We have one more plastic bag, as you remember, it is sealed. And again, I'm going to use the scissors in order to open this sealed plastic bag. So just give me a moment. Okay. Here we have quite tight packaging of the various screws, but mainly these are track frames and also road wheel frames. I'm going to try to remove them all. So first of all here we have more of the drivetrain parts. As you can see they are provided on this white sprue. Next we go on with another white sprue with various interior elements. Maybe we flip it over like this. So we'll, they will be placed inside. These are mainly fuel lines and some other minor things. Next we have workable tracks as far as I remember. So they come on this plastic sprue and I have to say in advance that you do not have the assembly jig here so you have to do everything with your own hands. It might be a bit tedious you know, task to do let's say so be ready for this but I mean the final result should be rewarding and definitely it is better than typical vinyl parts. Now just give me a second to remove another plastic sprue. This one was packed way in the rear of this plastic bag. So here we have road wheels. Note that we have some flesh inside these cutouts. Definitely you have to delete it because otherwise it would be a strange build. And overall it looks good. As you can see the rubber sections are molded together with main sections so you have to paint them carefully. Next here we have the uh, suspension arms which are molded separately as well. And here is the slightly wider plastic sprue with drive sprockets and tensioners. Obviously this will have to be combined together to house, but I think it's not such a difficult task, especially in comparison with Trex assembly. Next we have also some parts for the interior. Here you can see the armor rounds and some minor things which will have to be placed inside. And one last grey plastic sprue. Just one moment. Here we have storage boxes and some pioneer tools for this tank. Obviously it will be placed outside on the external surfaces. And now we can move on to the assembly manual. So here it is. Let's zoom out a bit. 
Okay, so assembly menu is typical for mini art. As you can see, we have short features list. Then we flip over the page and we have huge parts map. And some parts obviously won't be used in this set, so be sure to choose the right version. Here we have another parts map. Assembly process starts with engine, and as you remember, our engine should be really detailed here, so uh, be sure to spend some time painting it. Next we continue with slower how half. As you can see here we work on the suspension system and also on the interior with various interior panels which will be installed separately. Fuel lines. Next we continue with this armor storage racks. And here we install engine and various sidewalls, fire extinguishers and next we and close everything with help of these separate panels. Then we install the top panels of the hull. Uh, also some external elements here. Side skirts. Here we work on the engine deck. So a lot of PE parts to apply in order to replicate the engine mesh. Which is quite surprising I would say. Next we continue with assembly of this armor shield. Which will be installed on the top of the um, tank. Next. We continue with various storage boxes which are also placed outside obviously. Here you can see that we have some fuel lines and also the um, various separators between these boxes. Next we continue with P parts, fine detailing, road wheels, tensioners, machine guns and tracks. So there will be 90 tracks for each side so be ready for this funny procedure. We also have colors chart here and then on the last page we have one and only marking guide which is absolutely the same as what we saw on the box art. I wonder if there are any other markings so if you know any write it in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for watching and bye.